With the right settings and tools, you can make footsteps way louder and clearer in basically any game. What you're seeing here is my software which listens to your game audio for a few seconds and then automatically boosts the frequencies where footsteps actually are. That's one tool we'll go over, but now let's go over the Windows sound settings, headphones, and the frequencies of footsteps. Now first, you need to understand where footsteps live. In most games, footsteps usually show up in three main frequency ranges. The biggest one is the 150 to 450 range. This is the base body of footsteps. If you could only boost one range, this would be it. Another one is 1K to 3.5K. This is really the texture of footsteps. It kind of just emphasizes what they're probably stepping on. Now lastly, in that 4 to 5K range, this is where a lot of clarity and crispiness comes out. So in this range, there's things like reloading sounds, which are quite important. So you can also boost that up. Now that's why headphones matter a lot more than people think. If your headphones are already boosting these ranges, you'll hear footsteps way easier without needing to touch any settings or EQing your headphones. I personally recommend the Tipsy M1 just because they already boost the important ranges, as you can see in their frequency response chart. If you don't want to mess with EQing at all, these are a solid option. Now let's get into Windows sound settings things you can change right now. Now, after going into your sound settings on your headphones, go into the enhancements tab. If you don't have this, make sure the audio enhancements are enabled on your default playback device. And sometimes plugging your headphones into the front case port instead of the motherboard makes it show up. It's a little weird, but it does sometimes fix it. There's also a registry key you can change to get it to show up if you're still having issues. Now, let's look at loudness equalization. This works like a compressor. Quiet sounds get super loud, which makes quiet footsteps so much easier to hear. It's so strong that it's actually banned in some pro leagues. The only downside of it is that everything will sound closer than it actually is. Now spatial sound, you're going to want to turn this off. Most games already have their own 3D audio processing, so this might just get in the way. Now that we went over footstep frequencies, you can look at this bass boost option. If you set it to about 150 or so, and then at least put it on 6 decibels, it might be a little helpful. However, this is super limited, but it's worth a try just to get those footsteps to stand out a bit more. Now if you want to take your sound to the next level, EQing, which I kind of showed at the start of the video, my software AutoSonic will automatically apply an EQ right to the game that you're playing. You basically open up the software, and then you press that listen button. With your friend in a private game running around you, or anything else that you want to either cut or boost. After it listens for a few seconds, it'll automatically boost what it heard. If you're testing some footsteps, this is going to boost it right there. This is super nice because it's actually listening to the game you're playing and it's not doing any guessing or general work. Now without that software, you can install Equalizer APO. It doesn't have any auto EQing or analyzing your game. However, it does let you EQ your headphones, which is nice. You can basically do what we just went over and just kind of boost that 150 range or wherever you think they're showing up. But if you just want an automatic one click version, Version and EQs for you exactly to the game you're playing, try out AutoSonic. If you don't use my software, at least now you know the best Windows settings, good headphones, and what frequencies really matter overall in gaming, especially for footsteps. Now peace out.